Hi, I'm Alex Nankervis. I'm with Driven Dynamics, and we're here at the Motorsport Industry Association, their CTS show. We brought our simulator, the DDX Prime. Driven Dynamics, we're not just a sim company, we're also an R&D and an engineering company. And part of our goal is building the most realistic simulator we could possibly build that's useful for preparing drivers for going out on the track in real life. So it's important for us to be here at a professional motorsport show such as CTS, where we can show off to you know, race teams, vendors that work with race teams, as well as get their feedback on, you know, how does our simulator feel? It's the it's the it's the the, the tugging and the and that you actually get the the worst thing about. So I, I drive a few simulators. Yeah. I, I say simulators. I drive a few racing games. The worst thing is the is is trying to counteract that fit, yeah. change of balance because yeah. you don't really get that feel back and you and you can only do it via visual aids. Whereas yeah. you actually, I could feel that slide happening yeah. before it happens on the and screen. So, like a lot of consumer simulators, mm. right? Uh, there's too much delay and so yeah. by the time you start to feel it it's it's just more of a roller coaster like you're already in the wall yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i mean i'm not a professional driver but i can tell the difference when there's just 10 extra milliseconds of delay in the system 100 percent, yeah yeah a driver right and i hear stories you know people say like oh even in the f1 simulators 10 milliseconds they have to change the set of the car the drivers throw their hands and say i hate it yeah. you know right so we're down to about three milliseconds from when we get the physics wow, data okay. in the game to when you first start feeling motion. CTS isn't a consumer show. It's a motorsport racing technology show. We're here at the heart of motorsport in the UK at Silverstone. So as you can see, we have some impressive motion stats with wide range of travel and so on, but really it's more about the quality of the motion queuing. So we don't use a lot of this motion range unless the car is you know, spinning out, out of control, crashing, or, or if we're doing like flight simulation or off-road simulation. But it's nice to have, you know, we have some tracks with very steep banked ovals. Uh, we have some tracks with very large in inclines and so on, or, you know, off-roading. So it, it, it's good to have, but during normal driving, it's more about the fine little motion cues, the detail of the road, weight transfer, and so on. 200 hertz of coordinated motion, 500 hertz of haptic vibration feedback for feeling, you know, road surface detail and so on. Um, you know, that's important for feeling things like traction control, ABS, the curves on the side of the road, feeling, you know, what are the tires doing on these highly detailed laser scan tracks. DDX Prime isn't just for entertainment. We built it for professional driver training so that somebody can get in it, drive it the way they drive a real car. You know, you can drive by your seat of the pants, the butt feel as people call it. You can correct for slides, oversteer. Uh, we don't have the, the delay or sort of the artificial motion that you get in consumer sims. An important feature that's missing on almost all simulators out there is sustained G-force queuing. So we have a number of R&D prototypes in-house that we're working on for providing sort of full body immersive G-force queuing. And one of the first versions of that that you can see on our sim is our belt tensioners, which are not like normal belt tensioners that you see on other consumer sims. These are able to apply up to 80 pounds of force per belt, which gives you sort of the equivalent of up to two and a half Gs of sustained braking or cornering force, as well as some uh, you know, limited haptic feedback that we can do through the belts as well. A couple things, so from, uh... I guess I'm from a professional driving standpoint. One, I've been driving for nearly 20 years in various and different cars from prototype cars, GT cars. I mean, anything with wheels, you name it, I probably have driven at some point, which I think is pretty cool. But to, to go into the actual motion platform itself and what kind of 
I, what I'm looking for, what are the sensations that I really want? One, haptics is the, is the vibrations in specific area in the tracks that can cause traction loss in the area that I can uh, remember. Um, the yaw effect is the yaw like as a point of when the car is starting to lose control. Am I able to gain control from there? Sensations, visual effects, every fine detail that you get from a track, all those small things as a driver you want to look for because that's like in your toolbox of like this bump is at this area, I need to travel this fast, I can feel this, I need to brake after this point. All those sensations go into what we build, which I believe is the most immersive platform on the market, which is also one of the best driver training tools that you can use going forward. And realistically, the fact that you can train with our simulator in any space is amazing. Driving at the Nürburgring, one was a, a childhood dream. To be there yet alone to drive a prototype car is something that is, is completely special. Um, when I went out there, you know, the only thing I've ever done on that track is drive on our sim and I've drive a sim in general. And it's, it's the most dangerous, most technical track in the world. There's no real outs. So it really, really relies on your skills. But with that being said, with the amount of time that I've spent preparing myself going out there, our sim did such a great job of just professionally preparing me for something of that nature, from the compressions to the bumps, from the pavement changing, which is a constant thing there. It's, you know, the I would say, the Germans say there's never really a perfect lap because it's constantly just such a very unpredictable place. But given that, with our motion platform, I think really what that thing made it ultimate was just every fine detail in our heptics that we're able to reproduce on our platform to vibrations to how low our latency is and really to match that to the skills that I'm trying to put into the car made it almost like I, I say this multiple times but I feel like I drove a video game for eight hours which is awesome because I never felt like I was out of place of something and it felt like I was right at home especially in a car that I've spent very little time in and to, to do that and to see what we're building is something that I can't wait for more people to use and to really see how they can use it as effective training tool for being a professional or just if you're learning. It's really gonna kind of change the game on that. Every nuance, measurement, um, calculations that we are doing is constantly being delivered. And you know, especially that we talk about being engineers of this company, a lot of those technical details and fine details that we're doing really makes a difference from one, an engineering standpoint, but really also from a driving standpoint to really kind of bring those things together to really find the balance of what our professional platform is realistically doing. With DEX Prime, we want you to be able to have this level of motion fidelity, not just in a dedicated training facility that you have to travel to, but we designed it so that it, it's somewhat portable. It actually fits through a standard door, has wheels. Uh, for the show here today, we, we just rolled it out of the driver training facility it was in, up on the lift gate into a truck, did the same thing in reverse, got it in here. So the stabilizers come off, fits through a standard door, almost fully assembled. And that's how you know we ship it to a customer, that's how we ship it to a trade show and, and so on. And you don't need special electrical. It runs off standard household electricity. You don't need a special floor for it. So this is really something that you can take you know, to your garage, to your paddock, to your you know, training facility, your event, what have you, right? And that's pretty unheard of in this space. I mean, typically when you look at high-end, high-fidelity professional motion simulators, you're talking about you know, laying down a special floor, building a facility around it, hiring staff to operate it, running dedicated electrical. It's not the sort of thing that's, that's a, a short-term investment as it were. So on the consumer side, on the sim racing side, we'll get people saying, oh my God, for that much money, I should just buy a race car, go out race on my own. And that's not really our, our target market here because on the professional driver training side, you know, a race weekend could cost you $40,000, right? You've got consumables, uh, car rental, engineering staff, track rental time, paddock fees. It, it's quite an investment to be out in a high performance car for a day at the track. So with this, it, it basically 
kind of pays for itself after a few track days, a few test sessions. It's, it's almost a no-brainer for you know professional race team to have something like this. Been expensive in a real car. Yeah. Right. What do you estimate that cost? <laughs> yeah, a couple of million. A couple of million. But it was a really great way to get a feel for it. So in a real race car, you, I am better at figuring out the revs, where I am on the track, all that sort of thing. Right. But it's just because I never do this. Right. Look right here. Oh, what? Here you go. But. The motion platform, what for me is really interesting about the motion platform is you don't notice that you've got three screens, you don't notice the angles, you just see I'm in a car and I'm driving, that's it. Yeah. yeah. That's what's really good. That surprised me how good that is. You get so focused. And the motion is actually realistic. You don't get the actual G, but you can't. It's just not possible. In F1 it's the same, you can't get the G-force, but you do get those oversteer, understeer cues, yeah, you get all the cues you need to know what the car was doing. Yes. Brilliant. Driven Dynamics, built by engineers for racers, our goal is to create the most immersive sim we possibly can. The best training tool, the ultimate crossover from simulation to reality.